Hey there guys, it is Rochelle here and welcome to a couple days in my university life. As I do every morning, I wake up and the first thing I do is make my bed. On this day when I woke up, it was still dark outside because I did wake up pretty early in the morning. I started my morning by going to the gym to get a workout. My routine always starts off with a bit of cardio to get my heart going. Sometimes I will do a bit of running, but I'm not a fan of it, so I usually go for some skipping. Then I will stretch for a bit before actually starting my workout. On this day, I did a little bit of ab work, but it was mainly a leg day. I've only recently started going to the gym in the morning. It just wasn't my thing before. I've got to say though, it is pretty nice getting a workout while the sun rises. After my workout, I made myself some coffee and avocado toast for breakfast. Avocado toast is one of my go-to breakfast choices. I don't think I'm ever not in the mood for avocado toast. It's one of those foods that I can eat all the time and never get bored of. Good morning, friends. So I am back with another university vlog just because I told myself in September 2021 that I would be vlogging more this year since my university journey is about to come to an end in April. So these vlogs are just really nice to look back on to a couple years down the road and just remember some of the things I did in university. The first thing on my schedule today is to attend my screenwriting for television class. This class starts in five minutes and it's on Zoom, so I need to log on soon. For this class, I was actually supposed to watch episodes nine and 10 of Only Murder in the building because in the first half of this class we always talk about the story and the structure of this series but here's the thing i was quite busy this weekend so i didn't get a chance to watch the episodes i was supposed to watch for this class i was shooting a documentary this weekend and when i wasn't shooting the documentary i was doing work for some of my other classes so i'm just going to listen to the discussion going on in class and take notes but i probably won't fully understand what people are talking about okay let's just go to class in the class discussions, I got a lot of spoilers that I didn't really want. But, you know, I guess that's what I get for not doing my homework. Alright guys, it is now a little bit later. After class, I ended up watching the two episodes of Only Murders in the Building that I needed to watch. So I am all caught up in that show right now. My writing for television class is actually the only class I have today, but right now I'm gonna go ahead to campus because in a little bit, I will be meeting with my editor to work on our documentary. I believe I mentioned this documentary that I was working on in previous videos, but if you are new to my channel, I am a university film student and this year I am directing a documentary. For this documentary, I actually have to show a rough cut tomorrow in class so today i am meeting with my editor to go over the structure one more time before tomorrow and tomorrow in class i'm going to get notes and feedback based off of where the film is at now which will help and guide us make the necessary changes that we need to for the second cut of the film i need to leave the house in like 10 minutes so let's get moving Sitting right beside me here is Apurva. When we reviewed the structure again, we were both very happy with where it was. So during this editing session, we went over some of the notes that I had from the last cut, making a couple changes here and there. But for the most part, during this time, we put in visuals that we did not have in the film yet. I would say we were sitting in that editing suite for like three hours that day. The things we still need to do for the rough cut screening didn't take too long, so it wasn't too long of an editing day. Hello. Hi. We're currently in our editing suite. We have this suite for the entire semester. Yeah. I'm editing Michelle's documentary right now and we're exporting it. So that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> we started shooting in this, wait, when did we shoot? November? Yeah, we started shooting November. this in November. Yeah. And now we're editing it. It's February and we're editing. The rough cut, not even the final yet. Yeah. So the final I think would be done by March, right? And March. March. It's a long process. Yeah, because her shell is so picky. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I am picky. No, you're not. I'm kidding. <laughs> you're not. Like, literally, I had the first cut, and then you were like, yeah, this is good. And I didn't have to change much after that, so that was good. You're a good director to have. Oh, thank <laughs> you. You're a good editor. Thank you. <laughs> this is our editing setup. Yeah, we have two monitors, so lucky for us. And then we have a lamp there too. It looks nice there when it's on. It's gorgeous. Yeah. We've got a friend's poster and our setup. That's our editing suite. That's it. 
there's not much to it. It's very hot. <laughs> All right, I am now home. I am actually feeling very sleepy right now. If I were to go to bed right now, I could probably fall asleep. That's how tired I am. As much as I want to nap right now, I really can't because I have work to do for school. I am going to be doing an assignment for my production planning and management class. This assignment is a presentation and I have to present it this Thursday. This assignment I was working on was a first feature presentation. Basically, I was supposed to research someone's directorial debut, their first first feature they made and talk about all the things that happened on the production side when making the movie. On this day, I wanted to have a chill morning, so I woke up, picked up my book, and read a chapter of it. I was reading The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. After reading for a little bit, I made myself some breakfast. I decided to make myself my other go-to breakfast choice, which is apples and peanut butter. Okay, so the first half of my day consists of meetings. I have two meetings today. The first one starts in about a minute at 10 a.m. This meeting is over Zoom, so I should log on right now. I will chat with you guys after my meeting. Hi, good morning. All right, so right now I'm gonna go make my way to campus because my second meeting of the day is in person. This meeting is for a documentary that I'm working on. Actually, this past weekend, I just finished doing on location sound for that documentary. So this meeting I'm gonna have is with the director and the picture editor. And we're just gonna talk about workflow because I am doing post sound for this film. It's probably gonna be a little while until I get to edit sound and create the sound design for the film, but I'm actually really excited to do it because I love doing sound. Bubble tea. <laughs> this bubble tea is gonna get us through our doc class. Yeah, that's why I'm saving cheers. it right now. <laughs> Literally cheers. <laughs> Hi, I just got back home from campus and I am feeling very tired. I'm exhausted to the point where I don't really feel like doing anything for the rest of the night. But knowing me, I will probably try to get some work done anyways. Something I really need to do right now is to figure out my plans for tomorrow. This semester on Wednesdays, I don't actually have any classes. It's actually pretty nice to have an entire day off from classes in the middle of the week. I guess you could say it's kind of like my catch up day. After figuring out my schedule for the next day, I did end up doing some work. No surprise there. Um, yeah, I definitely can be a workaholic sometimes, or a lot of the times. I feel like it's this natural feeling I get whenever I'm home that I need to be productive in some way. On this day, I started my morning at the gym again, but today was an arm day because I did do a leg day earlier in the week. Good morning guys, I made myself some coffee. Right now I have a little bit of time at home before I have to go to campus, so I think I'm gonna use this time to do a little bit of schoolwork. I'll probably work on some notes or start a paper. For the next hour, I did end up writing notes for a paper that I would have to do later. Then I made myself some lunch. I had avocado toast again. I'm telling you, I have it all the time. And I also made myself some lentil soup. Okay guys, so I'm about to leave home and go to campus now to meet with my editor. We're just gonna work a little bit more on our documentary. On the commute to campus today, I think I'm gonna read a little bit more of this book I'm currently reading, The Vanishing Half. I think it's almost been two weeks since I started reading this book and I haven't finished yet. In my opinion, this book is really slow and it's not exactly a page turner for me, so it's taking me a really long time to read. I honestly thought this would be something I would finish reading in a week. I'm not even halfway through this book yet. Ugh. Would it be too ambitious of me to say that I want to finish this book by the end of this week? I guess only time will tell. Hi guys, I am in the editing suite right now. I'm currently waiting for Porva to get here. Yeah, so we can get started on the work. Hey. Ah, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, hi. Are you vlogging? I am. <laughs> so, how was the doc class? We got great feedback, actually. Like, most of the feedback we got was positive that's good feedback i'm so <laughs> i'm glad <laughs> we actually didn't get a lot of critical feedback which mm -hmm. is great so like i think we have the story we just have to make little tweaks so i guess today we are just going to be adjusting our documentary and we're just gonna make little tweaks based on a couple of the critical notes that we got yesterday for my class. During this editing session, we reviewed the documentary over many times, trying to figure out how we can improve it. Figuring out a story structure for this film was kind of like putting a puzzle together. 
We also spent a good chunk of the time brainstorming potential visual ideas that we still wanted to get. All right, friends, it is so much later now. I got home and I ate some dinner. After dinner, I showered. Then I procrastinated for a solid hour by doing absolutely nothing. Okay, that's not entirely true. For a little bit of the time, I did watch the Olympics, but most of the time, I did nothing. Last night, I told myself that when I got home today, I would start editing this vlog. But when I got home, I just wasn't feeling it. So I'll probably get cracking on that tomorrow. But for the rest of the night, I thought I would have a chill night. I was thinking I would watch a movie. I'm kind of in the mood to watch a documentary right now. I am thinking about watching the Netflix documentary called Fire. For those of you who don't know what Fire is about, it is about how one man engineered a music festival disaster. He promised supermodels and yachts but delivered tents and cheese sandwiches. I'm just looking for something enjoyable right now and the disaster part is pretty intriguing. All right, that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get to stay. I got it like that, always in my own bag, never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on